Hello everyone, here's a tutorial on using QZ with RGT Cycling. To use RGT Cycling, you'll need two applications. You'll need a mobile control application, which runs on a mobile device and controls all aspects of RGT, including the connections. And you'll need a screen application, which, which runs on a PC, a Mac, uh, Apple TV, or a tablet, either Android or iOS. You'll need to sign up for an RGT account. You can have a free account, which gives you access to three roads, I think. And these roads rotate on a, an almost monthly basis, so you get a taste of all the other roads that you can try. You can't generate your own user events or magic roads, which is one of the unique selling points of RGT. But you can join other people's events or magic roads. So uh, that's what you'll be able to do, first of all, when you're trying it out. And then if you like it, you can sign up for the premium version. But first of all, uh, you can click on links that other people send out and join those group rides. Now, given that we need two devices, we need a screen device and a mobile device. I have uh, several devices. I've got one here running the RGT control app. You can see behind me partially obscured the screen app. And I have another device here running QZ. So how to connect is, first of all, I'd fire up my bike or trainer and I'd fire up QZ and get it to connect to that. Once QZ is connected, you can see it on the far side of the screen. Uh, I'm pointing the wrong way, far side of the screen there. And um, uh, you can see right next to me the RGT control app here. To connect to QZ, because QZ is connected to your bike, which is then broadcasting a trainer so that RGT can see, you'd connect on the power channel. And here I'm connected, you just click on it to connect. I'm connected to the Huawei P20 Pro, and uh, that's the device that QZ is running on. If you click on the Cadence tab, tab you can see I'm not connected to anything there. Uh, that doesn't matter. Ours, uh, QZ will send through Cadence on the power channel to RGT. Heart rate, I'm connected via Ant Plus. Usually I connect everything through Ant Plus. I'm, I'm using QZ on my, on my bike here as a demonstration. I use QZ on, on my elliptical instead and I connect to the bike natively. Um, so heart rate, Ant Plus connection. Uh, you can connect however you normally connect. Um, Bluetooth if it has multiple Bluetooth channels or um, through QZ. Uh, Ant Plus is only available on RGT if you're using a screen app on PC or Mac and you have an Ant Plus dongle. On the slope tab, I'm again connected to my Huawei P20 Pro, which is the QZ uh, uh, phone, and we've got feedback intensity here. Now, feedback intensity slider, I've got it set to 100%, so that means a 7% gradient will feel like 7%. If you drop it down to 50%, it will feel like 3.5%. It won't make you faster. Well, there is a small case where it will make you faster if your optimum cadence doesn't sit uh, at that particular power with your particular gear ratio that you have. Um, but if, you're, if you, you're, you've got your own cassette on uh, or the gear ratios suit you, it will never make you faster because... Feedback intensity at 100%, uh, you'll still require the same number of watts to get up a hill in the same time. And if you set it to 50, uh, things will feel easier. But if you, drop, if you keep your cadence the same with feedback intensity down, that's like changing down a gear. You're changing down virtually and uh, you're changing down a gear. But if you keep your cadence the same, you're going to be putting out fewer watts. So to get up that hill in the same time, you need to up the cadence and, uh, you know, match the uh, previous power that you are putting out. Uh, I'll just say it again because there's a lot of confusion around it. Say I need 300 watts to get up the hill in 10 minutes. If I change down a gear, I still need to put out 300 watts to get up that hill in 10 minutes. So if I change the feedback intensity down, I still need to put up out the same power. So uh, that's feedback intensity. Uh, we've got power here. 
Uh, the only thing I haven't mentioned is power smoothing, three second average, one second average, or instant. And I can close that tab. Now I've got just ride here, so you can choose to just ride. So you know you're connected with QZ, you're good to go. But if you want to join an event, say I send out a, an event to the QZ uh, Facebook page, uh, you'll click on the link and it will come to the event startup page. And I'm going to go to the up next tab and just demonstrate this uh, with uh, one of the events up next. So let's try flat out flyer and Here's the event startup page. I need to sign up. And once I've signed up, I can't join that event until it starts. Well, give it a bit of time to get ready, uh, as in don't join bang on the uh, event start time because you'll end up behind. If it's a race, you'll, you won't be able to start. If it's a group ride, you, you'll start within the group, but just further down the road. But uh, you're able to join the event within 30 minutes of the start time. That's when the RGT server starts. And where that it says leave event, there'll be a join now button. And you can join that event, join the start pen, and just warm up uh, until you're ready to go. If you're riding on another road on RGT, uh, you need to exit that and come back to the event, uh, event join screen and join from there. It won't automatically join you, even if you've signed up. So uh, here we are. I'm going to click leave event instead of join event because I don't, I'm not going to run that event right now. Um, but there you have it. That's joining events. It's pretty easy. There's another tab workouts. That's probably the subject of another video. Um, and uh, there are lots of workouts on RGT preset. But to, in order to do your own workouts or upload your own workouts, you need to be a premium member. I'm going to show you what it's like to ride on RGT. So uh, let's choose, um, I don't know, let's choose Dirty Reaver. And uh, I'll click Ride Now. And you'll see that loading up behind me. Get on the bike. And uh, we'll turn off some screens here. Okay, here we go. So we're riding. I'll just turn off the video just so you can see the uh, full screen. You'll see my cadence uh, pick up in a minute. Uh, QZ will start sending that and uh, we're off. So when you join an event, you'll be able to um, ride with other people, draft. There's a drafting effect in RGT and uh, some events you'll be able to ride with people of different powers because it will band you together. It will keep you together and um, so lots of people, different powers can all join the same event. Normally though you just uh, fall in with groups of your own power. So there we have it. Sorry, that was a bit unclear, that last bit, but there you have it. Um, RGT and QZ syncing together. In summary, fire up your bike or your trainer, connect it to QZ, fire up the RGT mobile app, connect that to QZ, and then the screen app, which you already have running, you can start that at any point, will automatically connect to the RGT mobile app. So bike to QZ, QZ to RGT control app, RGT control app to screen app. And that's it, really easy, works nicely. You can see the graphics on Dirty Reaver. It's pretty good, it's really nice. And uh, RGT is a great app, so give it a try. And uh, also uh, join, Join a ride with me. I'm going to set up a QZ group ride and uh, we can ride that together on RGT, maybe have a discussion over Discord and uh, see how that goes. So uh, thanks for listening. If you like this video, please hit the like on YouTube and if you want more, just subscribe.